Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Georgetown High School for the final home final game, uh, home game, just game of the season for your Cedar Park Timberwolves. And we'll finish this season just on the outside looking in. Fifth in district play. Looking forward to next season. So what's on the line tonight? Pride. As with every game, there's pride on the line. Georgetown comes into this game 10 and three in district play. Georgetown, Cedar Park in this game four and eight in district play. I'm sitting on the side of the field, right in front of the on deck circle. As you'll see the camera angles a little bit rough, but that's a-okay. Well, Cedar Park will look to get it done with starting lineup of Molly Mitchell batting first, Evan Garcia batting second. Batting third will be Avery Evans, Madden Singleton batting cleanup, Addison Parton batting fifth, Bella Acosta batting seventh, Sole Bosha batting eighth, and Taylor Alexander batting ninth. Molly Mitchell will step into the box. Leading off at Cedar Park, number one, Molly Mitchell. Mitchell scored two runs. on Saturday against Leander. Cedar Park came oh so close to upsetting the Leander Lions. Last time out, losing that one by a final of six to five. Having the tying run on third base after an Evan Garcia triple. With no one out and unable to bring him home. Keeping Leander undefeated. Last time these two teams met, Georgetown got the better of them. Though last time Cedar Park was here, they did win as Mitchell shows bunt, takes the bunt back, takes it outside. They did win that one, putting the first team to defeat Georgetown at their brand new stadium. And that game is mostly known by me for the game my equipment decided it wanted to malfunction. So this time it's all good and we're ready to go. Let's play some softball in this season on a high note for Cedar Park. 1-0 pitch to Mitchell has bounced foul of the first baseline, third baseline, and we'll do it again. Taps home plate, ready for a 1-1 pitch. 1-1 is fouled over the screen, out of play. Defense for Georgetown Eagles will be Coons in left field, Swan in center, Harris in right field, Prince at third base, Torres at shortstop, Pinnell at second, Vasquez at first base, Miller behind the plate, and in the circle will be Blinko. We won last time against Cedar Park. Won't have the pitcher in the shot. Thought the batter would be just a bit more important. As one two pitch misses low, and they're gonna say she went around. First out of the inning, first strikeout for Blenko. There's one away. Three, Evan, Garcia. Evan Garcia had an RBI triple against the Leander Lions. Made it a one-run game. Part of a two-hit performance against Leander. First pitch is popped up in the air. Left fielder coming in. Center fielder calls her off, makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Garcia swinging at the first pitch. There's two gone now for Avery Evans. Avery Evans went two for four with a couple strikeouts against Leander with a run scored.
Pitch to Evans is upstairs, ball one. Evans waiting for a 1 0 pitch from Blinko. Here it comes as she swings and misses through that one. It's 1 and 1. This is the closest I've ever been to a field for a broadcast. Usually a bit off a ways. This time I'm right next to the field. Gotta say, it's kind of fun. 1 1 pitch to Evans is popped up and out of play, and we'll go into the stands, over the stands. It's 1 and 2 to Avery Evans. Evans waiver one two pitch here it comes is upstairs good eye. It's two and two. Evans waiting for the two two pitch here it comes, swings and misses that one strike three. That's the final out of the inning. Second strikeout for Blinko. It's a 1-2-3 top of the first, but we'll head to the bottom half of the inning. Our score, Cedar Park, nothing. Georgetown coming up. You're listening to Georgetown, sorry, Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom half of the first inning here at Georgetown High School. Lineup for Georgetown will be Torres batting first, Swan batting second, Hartley batting third, Prince batting fourth, Miller batting fifth, Pinelli batting sixth, Blinko, the pitcher batting seventh, Kuntz batting eighth, and Harris batting ninth. Defense for your Cedar Park Timberwolves. It'll be one last time this season, Madden Singleton in the circle. She'll be pitching to Evan Garcia, Molly Mitchell, freshman playing third base. Avery Evans playing shortstop. Izzy Robinson at second base. Taylor Alexander playing first. Addison Parton in left field. Bosha in center. And Natalie Mikus in right field. As Torres comes up to up in here by the late DMX. Very underrated walk-up song, I must say. First pitch to Torres is rolled in there for a ball. Cedar Park out hit Leander. Eight runs to three as that one finds its way through the gap for a base hit. Cedar Park has been susceptible to getting the leadoff runner on. So Swan will step in now, the center fielder. First pitch, as she swings with the first pitch, hooks it down the left field line, but foul. So Torres at first base, Swan at the plate, no one out in the bottom half of the first inning. Swan's ready, here's the pitch. That one's low, it's one and one. Let's go. 
1-1. Rolls in there, gets away from Garcia, and Torres will make way over to second base. Big turn at second, but she'll hold there. So it's a 2-1 count now to Swan. Two one pitch is popped up. Evans comes in, makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Torres stays put. Now bring up the designated player Hartley. Hartley steps in, winning for a first pitch, rolls in there. Rolls just away from Garcia, Torres stays put. one -oh pitch to Hartley is, actually, I'm not sure. Looks like she took it outside, the umpire did not make any signal. As far as I'm concerned, and the scoreboard operator is kept at that 2 1. Hit in the air to left field, but foul. From my angle, any ball that's hit, high fly ball, it's hard to tell until I, have to say, until I take a look at it. So I kind of judge by the body language, but that one's foul. So, you know, the scoreboard is right, not being moved since the previous at bat with Swan, so it says 2 1. Old saying, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Here comes the 2-1. Rolled in there. It's three balls, one strike to Hartley. Torres at second base, one away here in the bottom of the first inning. On the ground, but foul at the third baseline. Full count now to Hartley. Payoff pitch in the air to right field. Now one's gonna get down for a base hit. Scoring easily is Torres. And it's one to nothing, Eagles. The second game in a row, Cedar Park has given up a run in the first inning. Hartley with a base hit. I'll bring up the cleanup hitter, third baseman, Prince. First pitch is low to Prince for a ball. So Hartley at first base after the base hit. One out here in the bottom of the first inning. Georgetown leading Cedar Park one to nothing as the 1-0 pitch is lined in the right field. As Prince goes the other way with it, Hartley moves over to second base, and there's two on with one out for the catcher, Miller. Three base hits in the inning. Two on with one out. Pitch to Miller is upstairs. One-zero pitch. That one catches the zone for a strike. First called strike thrown by Madden Singleton. We've seen this before. It takes her a little bit to get settled in. Once she does, gets a nice rhythm going. And she can usually set him down. One-one pitch is cut on and missed. So Singleton ahead in the count, one and two. Here it comes. On the ground, up the mill, and that's going to sneak on through for base hit. Bosha picks it up. The throw to the plate will be not in time. She gets underneath the tag. Hartley comes around to score. Prince moves over to second base. Prince 
He's able to bounce one up the middle and Georgetown up in front two to nothing. So Pinnell steps in with one away. Scoreboard says two outs, but I count just one. We have a courtesy runner, number 30, Madison Beck. So Madison Beck will courtesy run for the catcher over at first base. In case anyone needs a reminder, you can courtesy run for a pitcher or a catcher in softball. As pitch Spinell misses outside. Like I say, your broadcast, this is your first softball broadcast. One, how did you find us? Secondly, I hope you enjoy it. The 1 0 pitch rolls in there. Good stop by Garcia. It's 2 0. Two zero pitch, just misses outside. Three balls, no strikes. So Pinnell waiting for a three zero pitch, popped up and out of play. Prince over at first base, courtesy runner over at say Prince over at second base, courtesy runner over at first base, replacing the. Catcher Miller. The 3 1 in the air to center field. It backs up Bosha looking up, and that one is off the wall. Just barely missed out on the whole run, and it bounces away. One run scores. They're going to hold the runner up at third base. Now throw to the plate. Throw back to Garcia, and she is out at home. Throw back to second. And the runner stays. However, a run does score. The second out of the inning. So Peniel just misses out. On a home run, a high wall out in center field. Keeping her from putting three on the board. As it stands, a three-run game, but a good heads-up play there. I believe Avery Evans to get that out. One, eight, six, two. As pitch to Hannah Blinko, the pitcher, misses outside. One pitch is swung on and miss. It's one and one. So Pamil over at second base after the RBI double. It's three to nothing. Georgetown here in the bottom half of the first inning. Two outs. One one pitch to Blinko misses upstairs. The two on pitch popped up and out of play evens the issue at two balls, two strikes. Looking for more softballs, they'd be fouled off plenty. Two two in the under center field. It backs up Bosha and that one's out. Georgetown has extended their lead in the first inning on a two out, two run homer for Blinko. It's now five to nothing, Georgetown. Now up to 
quarterback for your Lady Eagles, number two, D. Harris. Correction, number 27, Rainy Coons. I was about to say, PA announcer had gotten the next bout in the lineup wrong. It's a good thing that Georgetown sent the right batter to the plate. If they sent the wrong one, then that's actually an out if they get a hit or if they complete their at-bat in general. That's an out. First pitch to Coons misses outside. One zero pitch is in there for a strike. Two hundred feet all around the field. No matter where he hit, except for in center field, the ball's a bit higher. On the ground, off the glove of Alexander, race to first base. She'll beat Coons to first base in time for the final out of the inning. However, Georgetown had five on the board, capped off by a Blinko home run. After one complete, our score, Georgetown five, Cedar Park nothing. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the second inning here at Georgetown High School. It'll be Madden Singleton, Addison Parton, and AZ Robinson do up for the Timberwolves. Five, four, five, and six. Georgetown leading the Timberwolves five to nothing. Last time Cedar Park, though, found themselves trailing by five runs. It was against Leander, and they came back to make it a one-run game in the sixth inning. What did we've learned? You can't count out the Timberwolves. Up to bat, number 14, Madden Singleton. First pitch to Singleton. Misses outside, ball one. One-oh pitch is cut on and missed. It's one and one. Madden waiting for a 1-1 pitch. Here it comes. Hits in the air to center field. It backs up to center fielder. Swan to the wall. That one's gone. I wish my camera could have seen that one. Madden Singleton leads off the top of the second inning with a home run of her own. That ball just kept on carrying. That'll bring up Addison Parton. It's now five to one, Georgetown. First hit of the game for Cedar Park is a dinger. Pitch to Parton in there for a strike.
A one pitch is upstairs for a ball. First time on a broadcast, we've caught a conventional home run. And of course, my camera couldn't even see it. On one pitch, misses low and inside. Last home run for Cedar Park was an Avery Evans inside the park home run against Liberty Hill. Upstairs to Parton, three balls, one strike. One oh. Misses low and outside ball four. So Parton draws the walk. The bat, number 10, Izzy Robinson. They'll bring up Izzy Robinson. Kind of see if maybe I can hear the conversation between Cammy Jinsky and Izzy Robinson. Maybe telling her to perhaps bunt. Move Robinson over and bring up Acosta. <laughs> so Robinson waiting for the first base. Does show Bunt up the first baseline. Tags it for the first out as Parton does advance on over to second base. So one out after the sacrifice for Bella Acosta. Acosta had three RBIs in their last game, including a bases clearing single that brought Cedar Park to within two of Leander. She also singled in the seventh inning to bring the tying run, to put the tying run on base. To Acosta is on the ground, up the middle, and through for a base hit. They're going to send Parton home. The throw to the plate is over the head of the catcher as Acosta will sneak on over to second base. Parton almost ran right into the catcher. It's now 5-2. to two. This is Soleil Boshe will step in now. I've said this once, I've said it the I'll say it again, Soleil Bosha. I've done many broadcasts, and Soleil Bosha is one of the most fun names to say, as we will get a runner in for Acosta. He's a designated player tonight. It'll be Annika Oberg. The Annika Oberg in to run. So Oberg at second base, one out here in the top of the second inning. Pitch to Bosha, is swung on and missed for a strike. Upstairs is one and one. Bosha waiting for a 1-1 pitch. That one's in there for a strike. The 1-2. And she swings and misses to that one, strike three. Second out of the inning, third strike out of Verblinko. That will bring up Taylor Alexander. Oberk at second base. Cedar Park scored twice this inning, make it a three-run ball game. As Blinko misses upstairs. One 
1-0 pitch is swung on and miss. One ball, one strike. Two outs in the top of the second inning. Runner at second base. Comes the 1-1. Now back of the screen, just catches a piece of it. It's one and two. One, two. And that comes side, that hits Alexander. But she'll wear it. That'll bring up Molly Mitchell. She struck out swinging in the first at bat of the ball game, representing the tying run here. I think the PA announcer may have said flex player, Natalie Mickus. And Molly Mitchell at the plate, Mitchell. Squares up, pulls the bat back, takes the first pitch up high and inside. Correction, that's Molly Mitchell, number one. So Oberg at second base, Alexander at first. Mitchell representing the tying run here on the top of the second with two away. 1-0 pitch, in the air to left field. Left fielder coming in, she makes the catch for the final out of the inning. However, Cedar Park add two on the board from a Acosta single and a Madden Singleton home run. We played one and a half. Our score, Georgetown five, Cedar Park two. You're listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vibe Media Network. Bottom, bottom of the second inning here at Georgetown High School. 9-1 and 2 due up for the Eagles would be Harris, Torres, and Swan. Georgetown leading the Timberwolves by a score of 5-2. the So D. Harris will step in. First pitch in there for a strike. As Folder with a change up. So you've seen Madden love to do. Quickly ahead 0-2 to Harris. And the pitch is just barely fouled back. Harris stays alive, count still remains 0-2. As one 0-2 pitch is fouled back over the screen. Oh, two pitch in there for strike three. First strikeout for Singleton. First out of the inning. Back to the top of the order before Georgetown. Isa Torres will step in. A base hit her last time up and came around to score on the Hartley single. Isa 
As pitcher Torres misses inside. One up pitch low. Two balls, two strikes. Two zero pitch on the ground, back up the middle and through for a base hit. Just underneath the glove of Madden Singleton, second hit for Torres, and that'll bring up Swan. She popped up to Avery Evans at short her last time up. Up the middle, right at Evans, who catches it on the fly. <laughs> so second time tonight, Swan is out by the hands of Avery Evans, and that'll bring up Hartley, who had an RBI single in her last appearance. Torres remaining over at first base. Pitch to Hartley is fouled back on the screen. 0 oh, and 1. That's hardly hits one in the air to left field, and that one is foul. <laughs> Not by much, though. Madden ahead, 0-2. Oh Here it comes. Rolls it in there, 1-2 and two now to Hartley as Torres will stay put at first base. One, two. That one is, well, it looked like gonna be in there for strike three for a moment. It looked like the catcher was going to ring her up, get kind of the motion ready, but stopped the last in. 2-2 pitch is popped up down the left field line and way out of play. We'll do it again at 2-2. Two two. two away here in the bottom half of the second inning. Two outs, Torres at first base, Hartley at the plate. The 2-2 in the air to right field. Going back on it is Mikus, and that ball is gone. Just missed the home run earlier, and this time goes the opposite way. And it's a five-run lead again. For the Eagles. Third home run in two innings between both teams. As Prince will step in, base hit and score to run back in the first inning. As looks at the first pitch outside. The 1 0 pitch is swung on and missed. One one in the air to center field. Going back on is Bosha. They run into each other in center field. Bosha is still down. Parton picks it up. It's a double for Prince. Now let's see if Bosha is okay. Both were 
converging on that ball and hit head on into each other. Bosha is up and it looks like she'll stay in the game. Maybe just had the wind knocked out of her just a little bit. That'll bring up Miller. Miller reached on a base hit and was out at home play back in the first inning. Pitch to Miller, upstairs and outside, ball one. So after the Swan line out to Evans, a Hartley home run after being head 0-2 and, and a base hit to center field by Prinz. As this one's popped up, should be playable. Robinson underneath it makes the catch, snow cone style, for the final out of the inning. However, Georgetown add two more on the board on a Hartley home run. Cedar Park back down by five, but trying to scratch and claw the way back into it. We'll head to the top of the third inning. Our score, Georgetown seven, at Cedar Park two. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the third inning here at Georgetown High School will be a 2 3 5 do up for the Timberwolves. It'll be Garcia, Evans, and Madden Singleton. Garcia flew out to center field her last time up. Garcia will step in. First pitch in there for a strike to Garcia. Winko is bringing the heat. The 0-1 in the air to center field. Backing up as a center fielder, Swan underneath it now makes the catch. Second time tonight, Garcia has flown out to center field. One away for Avery Evans, who struck out swinging her last time up.
Wind is starting to blow out here. Not as bad as it was in previous games. I've been outside a few games and it's been windy and rainy and hot. But tonight, it's perfect weather for softball. As Evan looks at one upstairs. Pitch to Evans, inside, good take. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch to Evans, swings and fouls it back, two balls, one strike. Top of the third inning, one out, no one on. Georgetown leading Cedar Park 7-2. I must apologize for my camera as it does go out of focus and people kind of come into frame at times, but it does get back into focus relatively quickly. As Evans waiting for a 2-1 pitch, here it comes. And that one looked upstairs to me, but I'm not the umpire. Two balls, two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Upstairs, Evans holds off. Full count. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fourth strikeout for Blinko. And there's two away here in the top of the third inning. Now bring up Ben Singleton, who homeward back in the second inning on a line shot to center field. Pitch to Singleton is low. One zero pitch. Swings it. Swings through. One and one. One one pitch to Singleton misses upstairs and outside. It's the catcher Miller out of her seat. The 2 1 pitch to Man Singleton in there for a strike. Blinko digs in. Madden waiting for a 2 2 pitch. Here it comes. Just catches the piece of that one, stays alive. The 2-2, two -two. once again, fouls it back. The 2-2 two -two pitch on the ground and through for a base hit. <laughs> Throw to first base will be not in time, trying to cut her off. Good job for Madden to hustle down the line. Second hit in the night for Madden Singleton. Now bring up Addison Pardon, who walked her last time up and then came around to score on the Acosta single. On the ground, up the middle, grabbed by the second base, and flips over to the shortstop in time for the final out of the inning. 
Cedar Park gets one on, gets one. A base hit, but they do not score. We'll head to the top, bottom half of the third inning. Our score, Georgetown 7, Cedar Park 2. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom of the third inning here at Georgetown High School. Georgetown leading the Timberwolves by a score of 5 to 2. 7, 8, 9, or 6, 7, and 8. Beg your pardon, due up in the third inning for the Eagles. It'll be um, Penil, Blinko, and Kuntz. Penil with a double her last time. They came around to score on the Blinko home run. So Pinnell will step in. And already, here's the first pitch. And she holds back on the changeup and flies one deep to center field, but Bosha underneath it this time, and this time holds her hand up, calls off Addison Parton for the first out of the inning. That'll bring up Blinko, who had that home run back in the first inning that put Georgetown up five to nothing. This is outside. One oh pitch popped up. Evans racing back. Now coming over is Izzy Robinson. She makes the catch. And there's two away. Coons will step in now. She grounded out to first her last time up. Looks like a correction on defense as Acosta. Correction. As Landreth is stepping in now in replacement of Coons. And my change in defense, Acosta is in at first base as 1-0 pitch is in there by Landreth. It is dropped by Garcia, however. It still counts. One one pitch. This is low. Two balls, one strike to Landreth. As floats in there, a change up. That was a beauty. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. A one, two, three, bottom of the third inning. Second strikeout for Madden Singleton. We'll head to the top of the fourth. Our score, Georgetown seven, Cedar Park two. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network.
like to remind all our Georgetown fans and parents that we will be honoring our seniors shortly after tonight's matches, so be sure to stick around. Top of the fourth inning here at Cedar Park High School. Six, seven, and eight. Not Cedar Park High School, Georgetown High School. Beg your pardon. It'll be Izzy Robinson, Bella Acosta, and Sole Bosha do up for the Timberwolves. That's six, seven, and eight as Izzy Robinson out in a sacrifice bunt her last time up to move Addison Parton over to second base, who then came around to score. Robinson steps in, first pitch on the ground, up the middle, grabbed by the shortstop, as takes a few steps, throws out Robinson at first base in time. And there's one away. Let me have Bella Acosta, RBI single her last time up. Should have cost us. swings and misses through a pitch up and pitch upstairs. The 0 1 misses low, one ball, one strike. Top of the fourth inning, no one on, one out. Cedar Park trailing by five, seven to two to the Georgetown Eagles. A 1-1. One, one. That one just misses. Two balls, one strike to Acosta. Two, one. Ground ball right to second. Up with it, throws over to first in time. For the second out of the inning, that'll bring up Soleil Bosha. She struck out swinging her last time up. That one bounces in there, nearly hits up and hits the cat, the umpire. A 1-0 on the ground, right to Blinko in the circle. Throws it over to the first baseman in time for the final out of the inning. A 1-2-3, top of the fourth inning. We'll head to the bottom half of the inning. Our score, Georgetown 7, Cedar Park 2. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. <laughs> 